time for my April favourites video. I can't believe another month has gone. I don't tend to do these videos every single month because I find it takes a good few months to actually save up some favourites. If I did it every month though it would be pretty short and sweet. But I've got a good selection here in front of me so I'm just going to dive straight in and start off with my first monthly favourite. So first up I'm going to go with skincare and my first product is the Elizabeth Arden 8 hour cream intensive moisturising hand treatment. Oh my god is this stuff good. I have actually run out of this little bottle now and I used it over the last few months. I got it free in my Glamour Beauty Festival gift bag type thing. If you guys, I don't know if you knew anything about it or not, but they had a um, beauty festival in London which myself and my friend Olivia went to and this was part of the goodie bag and I love it, it's amazing. I've tried to find it online and I can't seem to be able to find it. Maybe I'm being totally stupid, I'm sure it is out there. But I will need to repurchase this because it is the first hand cream I've ever tried that actually, it kind of works and it doesn't leave my hands feeling horrible and greasy. So very impressed with that, very happy and I love it. Next up I have another favourite and it is the Lancome Bifacial Non-Oily Instant Cleanser. I also got this in my Glamour Festival goodie bag and I have been loving using it, it's fantastic. I ran out of my Body Shop Camel Cleanser, yeah that's what it's called. And I thought, rather than repurchase it, I might as well give this a go, and I'm so glad I did. The only downside of it, I would say, is it does mean you have to use, like, a pad, if you know what I mean, like a cotton pad, which I don't really like doing because I find that I get through them really quickly, and with my chamomile cleansing oil, I just put it in my hand and rub it over my face, and it's kind of done. So it's a little bit more labour-intensive, but it really works, and it's a really lovely product, and it does have oil in it too, so... It, it kind of says it's not oily, it, it is a little bit oily but not in a really horrible way, it doesn't leave your skin feeling oily and I do quite like oil based cleansers so really been loving this, will probably be repurchasing will probably be repurchasing this alongside my chamomile cleansing oil too because it's always good to have two options out there so moving away from skincare and on to makeup, I have two makeup items here which I have been loving for the last sort of couple of months the first one is the Laura Mercier powder and it is the loose setting powder in translucent I bought this on recommendation of my friend Olivia it's lovely it's so finely milled that you can barely notice it's on your face I don't find it to be that illuminizing I'm gonna be honest but it does set really nicely and it doesn't leave you with that horrible cakey face feeling which I absolutely hate some powders do tend to really highlight like the hair on your face if you know what I mean or any kind of bumps and stuff but this really doesn't when you first apply it it is quite powdery but it does sink into the skin really nicely and sink into your foundation so I have been loving this the only qualm I have with it can't believe I just used the word qualm I haven't used that in forever is the fact that all of the powder comes out I can't tip it upside down really the powder comes out of the little holes and you're left with a massive amount of powder in the top part of it which I find quite annoying it could just be because I have it in my handbag and obviously it's kind of rolling around in there and it probably um, kind of encourages it to sort of go into the top part of the pot but other than that I mean that's a really small tiny little gripe I do love it and I've really enjoyed using it my second makeup favourite for April is the MAC Soft and Gentle Mineralized Skin Finish Highlighter this stuff is so good Ah, oh, it's like my dream highlighter right there. I wanted something pretty intense because I, I mean, let's be honest, we all like an intense highlighter. And I also wanted something that was kind of goldeny, bronzy, not too pearlescent and pinky. This is just perfect. It's beautiful. It's the perfect highlighter. I'm so in love with it and I wear it every day. So moving on to perfumes, I have two perfumes which I have been obsessed with over the last kind of month, month and a half. The first one is, ooh, the lid has totally fallen off there. The first one is Rosie Huntington Whiteley's perfume for Marks and Spencer and their autograph collection. I cannot for the life of me remember what this one is. Oh, hang on. Uh, no, great. It doesn't have the freaking name of it on the bottom of the bottle or on the top. But it, they have one for night and one for day in this range and this is the daytime one. It is really different, not like anything I've ever smelt before, very musky, very light, very fresh, just gorgeous, I always get compliments when I wear it, I love the fact that it has rose gold detailing on the bottle, as we all know I love a bit of rose gold, and yeah, it's an eau de parfum as well, and considering 
And the fact that it is eau de parfum, it's really not that expensive. I think this was about 20 or so pounds, maybe a little bit less than that. I think her makeup stuff is fantastic as well. I have actually bought a couple of bits from that range. I haven't used it yet. But yeah, the perfume is gorgeous and they do a night version as well, which is kind of like more of an intense musky version of this. So another different kind of perfume, and one that is double the price of the Rosie Huntington Whiteley one, is the Liz Earle Naturally Active Botanical Essence, and it's their number 15 perfume, and it is again an eau de parfum. I was spritzed this when I was at the Glamour Beauty Festival by the Liz Earle kind of section, and I fell in love with it. I was smelling it all day and then all night, and I just couldn't, I couldn't get enough of it. It comes in quite a cool box as well, so you open it and it sort of has all the details of what's in the actual perfume. Um, as you can see it kind of like goes round. So yeah, it literally just comes out like that. It's this size, so not huge, not really small. It is 50ml and it, it's an impossible scent to describe, I'm going to be honest. It's very botanical, it's almost quite masculine. My boyfriend when he smelled it was like, you smell like you're wearing aftershave, but kind of in a good way. Yeah, I, I'm really obsessed with this. I think it, it's definitely not the kind of scent that everyone would love. If you're into more interesting scents, not kind of standard sweet scents, this is going to be the kind of thing you'll love. If you're not into that sort of thing, maybe it's not for you. It's difficult, and scents are so hard to describe, especially over camera. I have one hair care item that I have been loving, and it is the John Frieda Luxurious Volume Visibly Full, Touchably Soft Volume Building Mousse. As you guys know, I had all my hair chopped off and it is considerably shorter. In fact, I think I even had it cut since I last saw you again. So, yeah, it's even shorter. And I use this every single time I wash my hair. So I wash my hair, put a large kind of handful of mousse in my hand and just put it into the roots and then I blow dry. And it just kind of gives it a little bit more oomph. I also find that it's... A little bit bigger the next day as well if I don't put anything in it it just goes really flat and it's sort of like this and I don't really like that so with the mousse in it it definitely gives it a little bit more zhuzh and it means when I run my fingers through my hair to zhuzh it up a bit it actually stays so my last two items are more fashion accessory items the first one are these Miu Miu I don't know if that's how you pronounce it Miu Miu me, yeah, it must be, it has to be, sunglasses. Now, I did feature these on my sunglasses collection video, which I will link in the description box below, so you can have a look at it. It's not a very long video, so it won't take up too much of your time if you give it a little watch. And it's kind of fun, you know, like a fun lookbook type thing. But yeah, these guys are insane. They are insane, as you can see. Glittery and pink and beautiful. Now, these, I cannot remember the style name. I will link it in the description box below. But... I think Claire Marshall has a couple of pairs, they do them in loads of different colours, like blue, purple, pink. Um, they are just gorgeous, I love wearing them, they're so comfortable. The box is gorgeous, the box that the box comes in is gorgeous. They're not the cheapest, they are designer, I think they cost maybe like 180 But I do like designer sunglasses, I even wrote a post about how much I love designer sunglasses. You really can notice the difference when you're kind of wearing them on your face they just fit better and they don't give you that horrible pinching feeling behind your ears. So if you're someone who loves designer glasses and slightly crazy designer sunglasses, then the Miu Miu collection ones are probably going to be for you. So last up I have some trainers and they have, um, they actually have my insoles in, so the inside colour is not green, it's actually bright pink. But they are the Adidas Gazelle trainers and they are in a kind of different sort of pattern. They're grey, but they've got kind of poked holes in. Now, I got these from Very. And I can't begin to tell you how many compliments I've had on these every single time I've worn them. People are like obsessed with them. I'm not entirely sure why. For me, they're just like nice trainers, but they get a lot of attention. They are seriously comfortable. And I think the gray color of them just kind of makes them easy to wear with anything and everything. And I've just noticed, I think I've got lipstick or something on them. Oh, they're slightly suede, so they're not gonna be the easiest shoes to kind of clean, unlike, you know, normal leather trainers, but something a bit different. They also have some gold detailing on the side, which gives the Adidas logo and the name Gazelle, which is the name of the trainer. So that is it for my April favourites, guys. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if these favourites are any of your favourites, because as you guys know, I always like to know what you enjoy using, products, fashion or otherwise. If you have any suggestions, 
um, on things that you've really loved over the last month, do be sure to leave a comment in the comment section because I'd love to try some new things. And yeah, I hope you have a lovely rest of your day guys and I'll see you in my next video. See you later, bye!